gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I got the hogs on the Barbecue pitboys.com. Today we're cooking up some fish and chips at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, here I have some fresh cod fillets, an ideal choice for fried fish, but use your favorite fish. All right, maybe something like halibut. That's what it's all about, right? Now, this is fish and chips, so it's all about the potatoes, too. So, um, you got to make yourself some good french fries. And uh, here we're using a russet potato. And we're just going to prep them for the oil. And you know about doing that, right? But of course, there's a lot easier way to do it. This is real easy to do. Now, an important step for uh, making good crispy fries is you need to soak the fries or the potatoes in water. This helps remove the starch. And uh, ideally, you do this uh, the night before. Let them sit in the refridge overnight, soak it in water, and you'll get the starch out, and it'll make a nice crispy fry. We got some oil heating up, but we're going to make the batter and we're going to make a classic beer batter and we're going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour mm -hmm. all right makes sense doesn't it <laughs> and we're going to season the flour you need to season it a bit all right and here we're putting maybe a teaspoon of spg you can use some uh, salt maybe a little pepper and here i've got some bacon soda maybe about a half a teaspoon a little bit more and this is Pitmaster Privilege, just a little pinch of cayenne pepper, all right? Now, it's a beer batter, so to that we're adding one 12-ounce bottle of beer. And uh, lager is a good choice for that. You don't want to overpower the batter. After all, this is all about the fish. You want to taste the fish. And that includes how you season it as well. Be real careful. Too much seasoning, now we'll just screw up that fish batter. Now we're just mixing it up. Real easy to do, right? And of course the rest of the beers are for the pit master. All right, batter is mixed. And we'll let it sit for a few minutes. Now, through the miracle of time, we already soaked a bag of potatoes in water, and we're just going to rinse them down to get the starch off. All right, we're heating up some oil. You can use some veggie oil, some corn oil, or peanut oil. Use your favorite oil or whatever you have easy access to. And we're going to get it up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we're just prepping the cod. Nice pieces, nice and thick. Oh, yeah. Looks good enough to eat already. <laughs> Man. Now, if you've never had crispy fish and chips before, you definitely got to check this out. It's real easy to do and often a lot better than you can get in a fish house. Now, the oil's set up about 350 degrees. Batter is ready. That's been setting up a little bit. And now we're going to coat them. Oh, yeah. You 
you can see the consistency here of the uh, batter. Mm. You getting hungry or what? All right. Nice. We're going to be eating good tonight, Martha. Yeah. Now, depending on how much oil you're using, depends how much uh, fillets you want to put in there. All right? We want to keep that uh, cooking oil temperature up very close to 350. In a smaller pot like this, of course, the temperature will drop off, so be real careful. Don't overload the pot of oil with the uh, fillet fish. This is perfect. Now it's only going to take a few minutes. Get them crispy brown. Don't overcook your fish. You want it nice and moist on the inside. And these are just ready to go. Oh yeah. You pull them off. Put it on some paper towel. Let the excess uh, fat and oil drain off. told you it was easy to do, right? But since we have the time, let's throw in another batch. You can go get a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. Again, get them to golden brown. But it's critical you do not overcook them. It does not take long. Maybe five minutes at the most. Drain them. We're talking some crispy, crispy fried fish. And like I said, often much better than you can get at your local restaurant because you're eating them as they come out of the pot. Now, we just happen to have some good Vedalia onions around, so we're going to hit them with the batter too and throw them in the pot. <laughs> Gotta have some fried onion rings. Yes. Oh, baby. Only a minute or two. It only cost a few cents to do. <laughs> Look at that. Now, again. This is crispy fried fish and chips, so it's all about the potatoes as well. Throw them in at about 350 degrees, more or less. When they come to the top, they should be done. And you can always test one or two before pulling out the entire batch. Make it sure it's nice and tender on the inside. Let's do another batch. Nothing like a big order of fries. And of course you want to uh, season your fries as soon as they come out of the oil, hit them with some salt. All right, I say it's time to eat. Ho, ho, ho. Lord have mercy. Can you smell that? It smells good. <laughs> now, of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster Privilege. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, check out barbecuepitboys.com.